Good morning, again. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> um, my name is Nicola Foreman, and I'm here um, as a first year doc student, um, taking my first research methods class, um, going through this with Adam at um, University of Georgia. The title of my research project was On Their Home Court, Social Media and Political Attitudes in College Students. And the purpose of this is to, through a uses and gratifications framework, was to look at the motivations um, for college students to use social media to get political information. Um, one of the reasons backing this up is that Pew Research statistics show that in 2008, in the 2008 election, more of the people, more of the young adults under 30 use social media to get um, political information. So that kind of piqued my interest. Also, there was a study done in 2002 by Johnson and Kay, pardon me, Kay and Johnson, get that order right, um, which looked at how um, political attitudes pr predicted web motivations and also what those motivations wor were for um, people to get online to get political information. Um, traditionally, um, such studies have found that guidance and information seeking were the primary motivations for people to get, um, um, to go online to get political information. Um, however, on the other hand, social research and social media usually, the motivations usually skew towards the social and entertainment functions of the uses and gratification scale. So, in putting the two together, social media and political um, information seeking, um, I wanted to know which motivations would really predict, um, which, one, which one of these functions would really predict those motivations for people to get online and um, for college students to get online and use social media to get political information. Um, so my method was really a, an online survey um, and it was distribu distributed to 1981 um, valid email addresses and I had 322 responses which resulted in a response rate of 16.25 percent. Um, this was after five emails of please, 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 <coughs> promise, promise, this is the last time, smiley face, begging and pleading. Um, I also had um, a huge abandonment rate initially so Dr. Suisa had me send following up email that really said, my teacher really wants me to complete this, so please, 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 I need complete responses. Eventually, the tail end, it came into 16.25%, which I'm reasonably happy with. It doesn't fit the 18 to 20% for online survey threshold, but um, I still think it was enough to get some significant results out of it. <clears throat> so my survey um, had 16 questions in total um, and th four major scales. The first one was the political uses and gratification scale, which, um, excuse me, was developed by McCloyd and Becker, um, and it was a five-point Liker scale that ranged from strongly disagree to strongly agree, um, and had 18 items. This resulted in a three-factor solution um, of guidance being the king daddy, as Dr. Sweetser called it. <laughs> um, it had an alpha score of 0.91, and really had questions of I want to see who's going to come out ahead. Um, I uh, I want to make up my mind um, about the about the issues of the day. The second the second um, the second dimension was that showed up was information seeking and surveillance, which is 0.84, um, which had had to say I want to keep up with the issues of the day. So it's really a, that dimension is a little bit more objective and more information gathering type. Um, dimension and the one that came in last was the social utility and entertainment function, which was typically is typically associated with social media use, uh, with 0.71. All in all, these real um, these this scale was pretty reliable, um, so I was pretty happy with that. Even um, the results showed that guidance uh, guidance and information seeking were the higher motivations than social media and entertainment use. The other um, scales measured political attitudes, um, which was the political information effic efficacy um, and political cynicism. So that was collapsed into one scale on my instrument, but really what political information efficacy is, is the ability for people to go online and get information and feel like they're in a position um, to make um, a decision about the political candidate, um, or, or whatever political issue there is. 
Um, it, political cynicism is really what it is. You know, had questions like, um, politicians never tell us what they think, whether or not I vote, have no influence on politics. Um, and so those were collapsed into two. And political efficacy had an alpha of 0.82, and the cynicism had an alpha of 0.72. The other larger scale I, um, I did was a political activity scale, which was a nominal scale developed by Glara C. Sweetser and Tinkham. Um, and it's really, they, people checked how many items they participate, political activities they participated in. And it had an alpha of 0.93. And uh, so whether they donated to a campaign, whether they voted, watched political debates on TV, read a political blog, all of those things, activities were included. And then I looked at race, gender, age, year in college, voted, um, political ideology, and social media use. More females than males responded to this, 46.9% were female. Um, the average age was 24.63 with a standard deviation of 7.83. Um, and the range, again, like another group I know had this, was 18 to 62 years old, so it was a huge spread. Um, most of my respondents, actually a third of my respondents were grad students. So what, what, what did I find? Um, social media use had, an, on average, day, a daily use of 2.05, which I thought was pretty low. And one of the things I probably I attributed this to was that a huge percentage was were um, grad students. So if they're like me, we don't have time to get on social media because we're busy trying to get work done. So, um, and also my social media use for political information is only half an hour a day and I thought that was a little low but also it, it, um, my rationalization for this might have been because um, despite the spike in 2004 and 2008 with using the internet to get information there's nothing really going on now we're in like a mid-year cycle so none, none of the no hot fires spilling over into social media so that's why people may not be using that so much for um, political purposes um, a lot of people were registered to vote. Um, over half, more than half, 62.2% of my um, respondents were registered to vote, and 45.6 of them said that they were more likely to vote in the ne next election. Um, I've covered this before, but I just wanted to touch again on um, the motivations for social media use. The King Daddy was guidance um, and information seeking, but one of my research questions posed that females more were more likely to use um, social media for um, political information um, and that proved true however they used more information seeking and surveillance rather than guidance which was the top um, motivation showed up so I, I mean given studies about females less likely to be on um, um, getting being politically active the more objective information seeking can prove um, true um, in, in the study. There were no correlations between the motivations and political information efficacy, cynicism, and activities, which, uh, and the motivations um, for using uh, social media, which I, I thought was interesting. I had a couple of weak relationships in my hypotheses, and briefly, um, political activities um, one of my hypotheses, political activities would correlate with political information efficacy. That was a weak relationship um, and proved true based on studies that we've had in the past. Um, there were also weak relationships between political cynicism and the likelihood to vote. And there was a moderate, moderate correlation with political activities and political interest, which wasn't hugely surprising based on the research that we've had. The more political activities you take care of, you, you, you're involved in a polit more political interest you have, the more likely you are um, to feel that you're, you know, you have a good grasp on um, politic politics. Um, males tend to have higher le levels of political efficacy more than females. Um, I found some attitudes um, through an, an ANOVA test, and Bonferroni told me that um, Ob Obama and Biden voters were more likely to have higher levels of political efficacy than those who didn't vote. That obviously was like a duh. Um, so in conclusion, um, I, 
I exam I need to examine. Um, well, a lot of my results were kind of weak to moderate, and uh, I in order to get a larger, a more definite, um, firmer, um study study results i think i need a uh, more variety and more of a representative sample and a higher response rate and i really would like to explore um the the relationship between online political activities and social media use thank you